So right now we are going to see the crazy horse. Crazy horse is a monument. And uh, the name of crazy horse. So this is the parking lot. So entrance fee is thirty-five dollars, and the bus ride is five dollar per person. We all are here. So Arisha and Farhan over here. Let's start the bus right now. From the driver's side, they said that it's going to be a better deal. So, we have a space on the driver's side. That's what's okay, can everybody hear me back there? Yeah. Back in the 9th, 10th, 10th grade section back there. Okay. Well, well the guy we've been uh, talking about lately is uh, Korchuk. Jilkowski, he's the the sculptor that started this massive undertaking of carving the what he called Thunder Mountain. And when he got here in 1947, this was all uh, wilderness. It was all heavily wooded. So the first thing he had to do to get up to Thunder Mountain is clear the trees out of here. So he started a sawmill, and he used the lumber to build that sculpture studio that you've maybe seen in there and their living quarters. And he also built uh, to the right there through these trees. You can see some white buildings. He also built those, and they he, he started South Dakota's first like dairy operation. They milked Holstein cows. So between the dairy products that he sold and the uh, leftover timber and lumber, he got some funding together to start carving the mountain up here. Eventually, he. Uh, started charging the public 50 cents admission and June 3rd 1948 he started the first blast of blasting away that whole right side of the mountain from his head, the top of his head clear to the end that used to all be mountain so he cleared away all of that to get down to where he could start uh, doing his the rest of his sculpture as you can see the thumb and the forefinger are basically completed. So the hand is they're finishing up on the hand, giving him a manicure. The other day they were out working on the index finger fingernail. And then in July 4th, next month, sometimes after the 4th of July, they're going to bring in a 250 foot crane, one of those cranes that you see that builds uh, skyscrapers in major metropolitan areas. It's going to be set up on the back side of there, and it's going to have one of those robotic arms that swings out, and they're going to go to work on his hair and the horse's mane. This is a road that goes to the back, this road up here to the right. It goes to the back to where they uh, haul the equipment up there. One, two, three, four, five. This is the close up, the crazy horse. So you take a 10 to 12 minutes, right? And then they come here. And so you can take some videos and pictures. Really nice. The work is still ongoing. So. It's very nice that they have the bus service over here, so you can actually come here to see a close-up on that. It's my family right there. Hey guys. Anu, Arisha Farhan, do you like it? Crazy horse. Anu.
crazy horse for the afternoon. Last Saturday there were 5,729 people that hiked up there. Last September there were actually 15,000 people that went on the hike. It's, uh, they let you in the gates for free. It is a, uh, a fundraiser for the food shelves of Feeding South Dakota. So if you just bring a couple canned goods or dry goods, to pay the hiking club $4. It's uh, you hike that trailhead is over to the right there behind that pickup truck.